In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Tortuga Setout, a massive maximum legal carry-on size backpack for travel. A lot of people in the Pack Hacker audience have requested that we review this pack, so we're really excited to get into it and share our thoughts with you. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we share our travel tips and tricks. We do guides and reviews just like this one, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the Tortuga Setout review. Tortuga tees up the set out to be a just right travel backpack for travelers. It's accessible to the average traveler wanting to carry everything in a backpack with the familiarities of a suitcase. The home base, which is another pack in their line, is designed to be a little bit more lightweight for minimalist packers and shorter trips. But this thing is the maximum legal size for a carry-on bag, so they definitely went all out with it. It's a little bit bulky, but that's the intention of it, so you can fit a bunch of stuff inside of this pack and carry it on for the airlines that allow for larger carry-on bags. This thing comes in at 45 liters and we'd agree with that. It's definitely super roomy. And it also comes in at 3.3 pounds with the attached hip belt. In contrast to Tortuga's other two bags, the Outbreaker and the Home Base, which are made with sailcloth, the setout is made with 900D heathered polyester. Polyester is cheaper than nylon and sailcloth, which brings the set out a little bit lower than the Outbreaker and the home base in price. As an added bonus to that polyester, it's kind of a multicolored heathered pattern here, and that's gonna help with dirts and scuffs. They're not gonna show up quite as much on this multicolored kind of design going on here. In contrast to the sailcloth, especially the home base, which we've observed, that picks up a lot of aesthetic scuffs really fast. There's some ripstop nylon on the interior of this thing, and it's gonna help with the weather resistance of the pack, as well as some of that durability. And with the polyester, you don't quite get as crinkly of a texture as you do with the sailcloth present in their other two packs. With the bulk, we feel that the features on this thing look decently slick and refined. Of course, it's just a massive travel backpack, but it blends in well with an urban environment. Depending on how full you pack this thing, you may be able to slide out of the seat in front of you, but it's gonna do the best if you use an overhead bin when you're on the plane. And lastly, the Tortuga branding is displayed minimally throughout the pack, and we definitely like the small details that they've added without screaming Tortuga on everything. So up here on the straps, we've got very minimalistic kind of branding going on there. And then also on the front here, of course, we've got the little Tortuga turtle shell going on. To round off the materials used, everything they use here is pretty durable. We have some beefy YKK zippers, as well as Duraflex plastic and Duraflex buckles going on. We definitely like to see that. And there's also injection molded foam that we're gonna get into in a second. All right, let's start with the external features of the pack. So let's start with the compression straps here. Overall, these are expertly placed and they don't cover up the zipper. So. You can see here that they're basically attached, not getting in the way of that zipper. You can move freely throughout the pack to open it up fully, or you can kind of just get that front flap open without adjusting and fiddling with the compression straps at all. This is great overall, but when the bag is fully packed, we did notice a stress point on the zipper near the compression strap. And we think because the bag is so wide, it might be adding additional stress to that zipper. So not something to be immediately concerned about. We didn't have any issues with it. With that repeated stress on that zipper, it may be kind of tough in terms of durability. Again, zippers are some of the weakest part of backpacks and those tend to break first. Good thing these are high quality zippers. There is a top handle here and a side handle here for some quick grabs. Again, not super structured and sturdy. You can see that there's a little bit of give here but there is some anchoring here going on to add to that durability. Again, this is gonna be good for just quick grabs going short distances, you know, popping this thing in the overhead bin above you or like taking it uh, on with you onto like a bus or public transit. But again, we wouldn't really recommend this in briefcase mode. One thing Tortuga does that we really love is that they have this separate kind of strap going on up here to hang the bag up if you'd like to. There are two clips on the outside here, maybe for a messenger strap. Not really sure why you'd wanna wear it that way, but there are two clips here for that or maybe securing anything else that you'd like to secure there. On the side opposite of the handle, there is a lay flat water bottle pocket. Again, this looks good and slick. It's minimal, low profile when not in use. When you do need to use it, 
there's some reinforced elasticity above here that's gonna be able to hold that water bottle in place. Roomy size, we can fit like a large swell bottle in there. Definitely a good size. Let's move on to my personal favorite part of the backpack, the harness system. These are injection molded foam straps and they're kind of tricky. There's a couple things going on here. So basically there's like a gradient. So it's very thick up here and then very thin down here. So definitely some custom shaping going on there, which is pretty cool. It kind of has these holes in it and this mesh for some added breathability. Kind of reminds me of like Nike Air technology or something like that. And to add to that, these straps are kind of curved, so they nicely contour to your body. There's a fully loaded sternum strap here that's adjustable, uh, and you have a little keeper here to kind of help manage that excess strap so it doesn't hang off too much. Also, these straps unclip nicely and stow right into this Velcro system right here. Now, the one thing that we did have an issue with here is that on two occasions, these straps just randomly came off. And what we found out is that this little metal clasp down here at the bottom actually should be facing out. This totally makes sense if you observe where the carabiner clip pulls on where it's looped into. As you can see that, you know, when you're pulling on it, that strap can make its way under that silver buckle without you wanting it to based on the pressure that's being put on it. So as long as you have that silver clip faced towards the outside, you're likely not gonna run into that issue. To wrap up the harness system, there is a beefy, comfortable hip belt attachment that you can use. Now, Tortuga does mention on their product specs, we really like that they do this, that this is meant for 17 to 19 inch torsos. I'm about a 19.25 inch torso, and this hip belt is more of a stomach belt to me. So it doesn't fit me super well. It does distribute weight, but it's like over my belly button and isn't necessarily comfortable. So just make sure that your torso is the right size before grabbing this. And in contrast to the Outbreaker, the hip belt is not adjustable. We were also wondering why Tortuga used Velcro on the hip belt instead of like a metal mechanism that they have down here. Durability wise, not sure if it'll last quite as long, but I'm sure there's some kind of reason as to why they did this. Maybe they can answer in the comments. And lastly, on the back of this, there's some nice padding going on here that's gonna add a bit of airflow. It's a nice mesh here. Of course, you know, with backpacks, you're you know usually gonna have that sweaty back, but Tortuga has done a great job here with the consideration of this. Overall, I would say the harness system is a pretty comfortable carry. Now there's one thing also, again, that I kinda wanna nitpick with this. This thing tends to sag down a little bit on your back when it's full of stuff inside. So I get that they tried to add a little extra room at the top here to help distribute the weight, but maybe they could benefit from a stiffer frame sheet on the inside. It's definitely pretty flimsy, or potentially some load lifters at the top here to kinda pull that top of the pack a little bit closer to your upper back. Again, I'm not a designer. At Pack Hacker, we just review these things, so I'm not really sure if that's the exact solve, but definitely a nitpick and something that we wanted to surface to you. Moving on to the interior of this pack, let's jump right into this YKK number five zipper and this kind of quick grab pocket on the top. So it's about 7.5 inches deep. Again, good for quick grabs. If you're going through security at the airport, just like stuff everything in here, boom, hit your bag right through the conveyor belt, good to go. And if we move back here, just take a look quick at the laptop and tablet compartment going on. So again, kind of wish that frame sheet had a little bit more structure for maybe like a little bit of a better carry. There's a nice kind of Velcro mechanism here that's gonna hold your laptop secure. Laptops up to 15 inches can go in here. And then there's a little pocket in the front that can help hold tablets. You can fit some other kind of flat items in here overall, but you know, would just recommend that mainly for the laptop. So let's zip that right back up. Move this around to the front pocket here, which is a super nice organization pocket. So up here we've got this carabiner clip, which again is gonna match that carabiner clip that we see on these straps on the outside. Good for keys or anything that you just wanna hang off here free floating. Again, we have a pocket up here, a zipped pocket. Uh, again, 7.5 inches deep, about the same depth as this pocket out here, but a little bit less in width. So anything, any smaller items, you can definitely just toss them in there. And then we have this little pouch here for some additional separation and organization. And then moving on to my favorite part, I think Tortuga does a super 
great job with the organization and the interior of PAX. They're a team of travelers, they definitely know what they want and I know they survey their audience as well to see what they'd like to see in a pack. So I'm personally a big fan of what they got going on here. We have three spots here for like pens, pencils, maybe a stylus, something like that. Passport will fit perfectly into this pocket here. We have this mesh and elastic pocket here, which is the same exact material that's used on the exterior for the water bottle pocket. And then we've got kind of three credit card spots right here and another larger pocket right here which is going to be good for added organizations got to get those points when you're traveling and no foreign transaction fees on your cards right uh, in addition to that we have some room here at the bottom i'd recommend putting some slimmer kind of pouches or packing cubes in there moving on to the main compartment we have these number eight ykk zippers here with some like little grabbable zipper pulls which are great Good way to tell those two pockets apart since they do have different zipper pull designs. So we open up this main compartment and on the inside, we actually have the Tortuga set out packable day pack as well. We think this thing is really great. It's kind of a miniaturized version. It's got a similar aesthetic, a little bit of a different material going on here, but it's good to kind of pair this with this pack because this thing is huge. When you get to your destination, you don't necessarily wanna be walking around outside carrying this thing all day. So again, this little set out packable day pack is gonna be a good solve for that. Just unpack this, uh, maybe throw a couple packing cubes inside of this thing and boom, you're good to go. Cause you can see here that this is just a massive compartment going on here. And it's gonna be good for people that are used to traveling with suitcases. It's got that similar organizational style, it's just kind of one giant bucket. And then you've got these mesh pockets up here. Now these aren't necessarily 3D mesh pockets. They don't stick out. You can actually fit quite a bit in here, you know, from t-shirts to socks to things that are a little bit less bulky, but you just want some additional organization with. And again, we'd recommend packing cubes for this main area because just putting everything in here willy nilly is gonna be a little bit tough, especially with these sides that aren't necessarily structured. This nylon and polyester kind of gives pretty easily. So it's just much easier to chuck in a couple packing cubes, a lot easier to handle when you're traveling. At the time of this review, we've been testing the Tortuga setup for about three months across Detroit, Minneapolis, New York, and California. And we wanted to make sure to give it a pretty thorough test and a good run before we did a review on it here. The reason being is that in the Tortuga home base that's made out of sailcloth, it's actually right up there in the upper right hand corner. We noticed a lot of aesthetic blemishes that happened on it. We wanted to make sure that the set out didn't fall to that same fate. So overall, we gotta say that it passed. There are a couple of minor smudges going on here, but nothing too noticeable. And again, with that heathered kind of gray pattern going on here, it sort of just melts away into the background. So any light blemishes or scratches are easily gonna be covered up by that. And based on the materials used, all high quality. We assume that this Tortuga set out is gonna last for months to come, years on a ton of different trips. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, Tortuga does a really great job at thinking through the design and the features of the pack. Again, that heathered polyester is great for the aesthetic. The suitcase-like interior will have travelers feeling at home that have used roller luggage in the past definitely has a good travel backpack vibe going on. Moving on to some of the cons, the hip belt is not adjustable and may not fit all people. So there is also some sag off of your back when the pack is fully loaded and the frame sheet in the back is somewhat flimsy. We preferred it to be a little bit thicker. Overall, the Tortuga home base is a great option for maximum legal size carry-on. It's just right for the average traveler. These smart organizational features and design outweigh the couple of nitpicks that we found with the pack. Thanks for taking a look at our review on the Tortuga setup. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com slash newsletter, sign up for our newsletter and never miss an update. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you in the next video. And we share our travel tips and tricks. We do guides. <laughs> wow, he's wearing the same t-shirt in every video. It's just outlier, I just like it, okay?